Windows user tips number one. This is the first in a playlist that I'm going to be publishing for tips for Windows users that I think a lot of people overlook or aren't aware of that I find very useful. So this first one is going to be about clipboard history. So clipboard has to do with copying and pasting. So just for the basics, I'll double click on the word, press control C for copy, go down to another place and press control V for paste. I can triple click on a, on a paragraph, control C, and then go to a new line and control V for paste. So that's the basics of copy and paste, but I'm talking about clipboard history. So if I press Windows key V, you'll see history of things that I have copied and uh, pasted. And I can scroll down, I get a whole bunch of things that I have copied in the past for purposes of, of pasting. Now, the most common place that I use this is when I'm entering my purchases into my QuickBooks online. So here's a invoice from, uh, uh, from, from Amazon. So I'll triple click on the description of the item I purchased, press control C. I'll double click on the price for the item, press control C. I'll double click on the tax for the item, press control C. And then I'll triple click on this line down at the bottom that includes the date and the credit card I used and you press control C. Then I'll come up to this tab in QuickBooks Online and I have an expense sheet already showing here and I just type AM to get Amazon Business. The credit card, I also saw, I already saw that it was that one. But then the date at this point, if I've forgotten the date, then I can press Windows key V and see, well, that date was June 7th. So now I can just use any variety of methods. In this case, I'll just use the minus sign, which increments that date down by one day. Payment method is CR for credit card. Then I'll come down to this paid, prepaid sales tax to vendors, single click in this field. It highlights that field when Windows key V and then click on the sales tax for that item. Then come down into this description, which it's automatically showing the description of the last item that I created and expense slip for Amazon. But I highlight that and then Windows key V and I'll click here on the description of that item. Then I'll click in the price field, Windows key V and then click on the price for that item, tab key, and that carries it over to the next line. And then this did not have a recycling fee for that because that's only for monitors. So I'll click on the garbage can over here. So that completes that expense slip. Now, the, the, the usage or how to activate clipboard history in order to demonstrate that, I first have to deactivate it. The way I turn it off is come to the Windows button and then type clipboard settings. There's clipboard settings. Click on that. Now I can turn clipboard history off and then I'll talk about syncing across devices on another video. So now if I press Windows key V, this is what I get. Whoops, I got to move me out of the way. This is what I get. Can't show history. See all your copied items in one panel. Turn on clipboard history now. Well, clipboard history is turned off right now. All you have to do is click on that button. Now clipboard history is available. So now if I press Windows key V, it says that it's empty. Well, I have to actually start copying things before there's anything there. So I'll come and triple click on this sentence, press control C, I'll double click on this word, control C, I'll double click on this word, control C, or maybe drag across a few characters and control C. So now if I press Windows key V, I see all of that history. This ellipsis menu right here, I can pin any of these items to the clipboard history so it's always there and I can get back to it another time. If I'm finished with my work session, I'm going to walk away from my computer. I don't want somebody to see the things that I have copied. Maybe I've copied a password so that I can paste it somewhere. Well, you can click on one of these ellipses and clear all. So that's going to clear everything except for the one that I pinned. So then I can unpin that. I can clear all, now they're all gone. Again, I'm back to clipboard is empty. So I hope that was useful for you. Have a great day, catch you later, goodbye.